Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen, Cooking Up a Storm with Mel. I'm so excited to be here, I'm so excited to share. So what we will do, or what I will do, is I will showcase um, how Epicure can make quick, easy meals from raw to ready under 20 minutes. And today we're going to be actually making a Greek meal. So I have my oven turned on right now at 400 Fahrenheit. And what I find here in my um, container is some cut up uh, chicken here because we're actually going to be making some souvlaki chicken on our uh, sheet pans. So what I'm going to be adding here with the souvlaki uh, jar is I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons here to this bigger container of um, chicken. Now um, it is cut up and I do love to put a little less because if you are new to Epicure, um, our spices are quite potent in uh, taste in the sense that it is pure. There's no fillers and additives and preservatives. Um, though are a lot less in sodium and um, sugar content. So you might land up having to add a little bit of salt, uh, though you wanna be able to add exactly what your palate needs and not what uh, the uh, you know store wants you to have. So what I have here, as you can see, two tablespoons for uh, four big chicken breasts suffices. I'm going to be adding uh, two little here of the hurt garlic sea salt and what you're going to notice here is that I actually have the grinder head sitting on the refill so our wonderful grinder head actually fits on 90% of our jars um, at the exception of our octagonals right now so I'm just going to mix this up we're going to get that right away on uh, my quarter sheet pan so I'm going to be um, probably uh, making two quarter sheet pans here uh, for my chicken. So it's going to be cooked in about 12 to 15 minutes. So it is truly uh, better than takeout. And I'm going to be adding this in the oven right now. And if you wanted to, you could definitely add some peppers on the side and uh, put that all in there. But we're just simply going to put them. And I love our quarter sheet pans because they actually go side by side in the oven um, and so much utility. So right now we've got our souvlaki chicken where we've used our amazing souvlaki spice. And FYI, you're going to notice that every jar or every meal solution envelopes actually have recipes on the side of the jar to guide you. Um, so souvlaki it is in the oven. We're now going to be going in with our amazing steamers. You're going to be noticing there's three different sizes of steamers in the catalog. Absolutely love these. These are ones that I use on a daily basis. They go in the microwave, they go in the oven, they go in the freezer and the dishwasher. So what we're gonna be making in this steamer today is some uh, balsamati rice. So yes, I absolutely love doing my balsamati rice or my quinoa rice in the microwave. There's no fuss, there's no sticking in the pots and it's nice and fluffy and just great texture. So what I've got here is um, about a cup of balsamati rice and I'm adding um, a cup and about a half of water. And as you can see, we've got just the uh, water here sitting. So you can either um, tend to add uh, the rack, that there's an actual rack that goes in, or you can actually use uh, the lid. So I'm personally gonna be using the rack and I'm going to be adding um, a little bit of seasoning to it. I'm actually going to be adding a little bit of our Greek dressing seasoning, just a nod here in the rice. And we're going to be putting this in the microwave for 10 to 12 minutes. So depending on your microwave, it might be a little shorter or longer, though this is as simple as that. We're going to be pushing this in the microwave for uh, the 10 minute mark. And while that is cooking, um, we're going to be working now on a tzatziki. So what you find here in my bowl is about a cup and a half of, um, yogurt and all I'm taking here is I'm actually um, taking a cucumber and you can actually make it as fine or as coarse as you want. I like it more chunky personally because uh, I do want to get that crunch out of the tzatziki uh, that I'm making and it's a great addition to serve if you're making a sandwich or if you just want it as a side um, for your chicken. 
though this is as simple as that, I'm actually making it um, thicker. So it all is about your family and yourself's preference um, for doing so. But it truly is um, better than takeout. It's cheaper definitely than takeout. And um, you know what you're eating because you're actually putting the ingredients of what you want in there. So I love it. And it's actually also quite cost efficient. Um, each meal gives is, it comes out to about $3.55 per person, depending on the protein of choice. So um, this is what we are doing today. So I've got the cukes in there. I've got the plain Greek yogurt. We're going to be adding um, a tablespoon of Epicure's lemon dilly dip mixture to our tzatziki. And the recipe is found here on the back of the bottle, though it will tell you three tablespoons. It is way too much, so you'll want to put a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. And it, as it sits for the 10-15 minutes of you prepping your meal, it's going to be just perfect. So we're going to put this lemon dilly that's perfect for salmon, perfect for roasting vegetables, perfect as a plain veggie dip, but also great for tartare sauce. So as you can see, the versatility of the product. And we're actually making the tzatziki. I'm going to be now adding um, a quarter here of a teaspoon um, of Epicure's roasted garlic aioli because what's a tzatziki without garlic? Um, so we're using the roasted garlic aioli. It's a nice little fine powder that will actually create a sauce for you. So um, it's quite fine. You want to put less if you're using it as on a non-Epicure recipe. It makes a great garlic sauce. Um, though a personal favorite here because it kind of goes everywhere um, and you can make the aioli um, for yourself and your family and use it for sandwiches uh, you can use it for sauce uh, when you're making raclettes or fondue um, it's great for dipping pizza but uh, as you can see I kind of add it to a little bit of everything so we've got here the tzatziki that's almost underway and I'm again going to add a tad bit of sea salt, given that we're so low in sodium. But I absolutely love the fact that I add exactly what I need. And that, you know, most of all of our products are less than 5% of salt and sugar. So it's just amazing. So we're just going to let that tzatziki sit. And we're now going to start working on salad. So I'm sure I have salad lovers here. And we're going to be working on the Greek salad dressing, though I'm missing an ingredient. So I'm just picking up here some red wine vinegar, and I'm going to be using Epicure's Craft. And as you can see, the measurements are here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to add, as following the directions, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. And what you're going to notice that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the spices in right away um, to the red wine vinegar. And I'm going to hold off on the oil so that the actual herbs have time to refine. Because when we put a vinegar um, with spices, there's a natural like chemical reaction that makes in sort that your herbs will really uh, burst the flavors out. Whereas if you put the oil right away, it actually coats the herb and takes much longer for the uh, flavors uh, to incorporate and release. So this is just a little trick. So what I've got here is a quarter cup of uh, red wine vinegar. We're gonna add here three quarter cups of uh, olive oil to our mixture. And I'm just following because it actually has the measurements here. So it's always nice to follow here and I don't have to dirty, um, you know, three things to make a dressing. So I just added the half a cup, or the, sorry, the three quarter cup of olive oil here. And we're just going to give it a shake and my dressing will actually be um, ready by the time everything is ready to go. And I'm just going to now add some cucumbers. I'm making it nice and easy. I'm simply going to be putting cucumbers, tomatoes, and I'm going to be leaving feta on the side because not everybody in my family uh, loves fetas and olives. Um, but for me, I definitely need the feta and uh, the black olives. Oh my gosh, how can we not have a Greek salad without that? But to each his own. So we just put the olives and the feta on the side and uh, people will actually take what they want for their salad. You can actually put the salad in your wrap 
but it's as simple as that. So I've got a nice um, little salad here ready to have the additions that they want to put in. Great size. This is our four cup prep bowl. It comes with a silicone lid, goes in the oven, microwave, dishwasher, and freezer. So another great addition in uh, the kitchen. Now you've been seeing me work. I've been working a lot with our four in one spice spoon. So this is a tablespoon, this is a teaspoon. We turn it around, we have half a teaspoon and there's a little line for the quarter of a teaspoon. So when I was measuring out for the tzatziki earlier, um, it was quite easy for me to get that measurement. Now last but not least, as we come to an end, and as you can see, it hasn't been super easy, I'm just going to grab um, some mayo and I'm going to be making a little mayo uh, sauce here. And I'm gonna be using our three-in-one uh, spatula. Absolutely love it, as you can see. I'm not dirtying my hands. I love that it's uh, long and it's going in and it's cramming all the crevices so there's like really no waste. Um, it's one of my kitchen tools that I actually love a lot because, you know, if you have ketchup lovers in your family, uh, you can see that, um, you know, we often get our hands dirty to get in there. So um, I've got about here half a cup of uh, the mayo ready and we're just going to put that aside here. Um, so half a cup of mayo and I'm going to be using um, this guy, which is an absolute favorite, great for wing night. Um, great to make an aioli too. It's our um, lemon pepper blend. And I'm going to just be adding a teaspoon here of uh, the lemon pepper into my mayo. And I'm going to add a fresh squeeze of uh, lemon juice. So we're just going to get my lemon here cut up. And I'm going to be using Epicure's two-in-one citrus press, an absolute favorite for customers and hosts. So we're going to land up taking the uh, lemon, we're putting it face down, because you don't want an acid facelift. And we're just going to squeeze that juice out. And as you can see, there's no waste. Everything is there, it's good. I'm going to stir this away and I'll have a nice little uh, mayo sauce here for those uh, that perhaps don't want the tzatziki, they'll be able to use it. And if ever you were to be serving it with potatoes, you could certainly have your Greek meal in here. And FYI, speaking about potatoes, as we can see in the steamer, our rice is almost ready. Uh, you could actually put your potatoes um, in the uh, steamer to have some nice uh, potatoes, and you can definitely do it that way, or you could have sticked it, your potatoes, with our chicken. So I'm just going to give it a quick check up here, but as you can see, it's coming along quite nice. Um, and so, you can really have a meal really ready, from raw to ready, under 20 minutes. Um, and it's super healthy, it smells delicious. And uh, that's what I love, is that I know what I'm feeding my family, and I know that it is cost efficient, um, it's healthy, and it's easy. So I hope that you've enjoyed our little time together of me introducing to you um, some of our amazing products. You will notice there's a lot more in the catalog. We have from Mexican to Asian to the things uh, or the, the people that have a sweet tooth like me for dessert. And I'm just going to quickly check in here on uh, my balsamati here after uh, nine minutes and a half. And as you can see, it's almost done. So I'm just going to put this back in for about uh, two minutes and my balsamati will be ready to be served now, this multi-purpose steamer is a definite must in everybody's kitchen. You can make your popcorn, you can make pasta, you can make meatballs, you can make cakes, you name it. It's such a space saver, a time saver, and an absolute love for our hosts, uh, for our customers, and it's so proper that it comes in Epicure Starter Kit. So if ever um, you feel like booking a class, you'd like to get some business information, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much for being with me. Have a great day, everyone.